So what's episode episode two of of uh, change of change of soldier? There are some some things I definitely do want to I definitely do want to explain from the voice which, which I never really really got a chance to explain in the very first episode. So the very for, for, for the second for the sec, for for the episode basis of uh, episode one, the MC the MC character needs to some kind of trigger mechanism to, to to morph himself into a monster, morph himself into a monster like, or or something like that. It's, it, it, he just needs some kind of triggering trigger mechanism or something like that. I don't know. It's something something that he needs and something that he needs for order for him to basically to transform. If he does not transform, he cannot he cannot have that order have that kind that kind of meth uh, methodism to basically the basis to for order for him to basically to transform means that means that he needs some kind of intimate intimate touch basically with a girl. <laughs> um, that's that's all I can pretty much I can be I can really can I can pretty much I can say. But I mean that that's basically what he needs. That's basically what he needs because if he does not get that, if he does not get that, then he won't be able to. He won't be able to to transform. So it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like similar to like the Issei. Issei is, has has a difficult time to transform in his in his dragon mode. Is in his dragon mode mode. I mean in his armor in his armor mode that that he has and stuff like that 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 he has and the reason why i'm saying this is basically because because Issei has a hard time basically transforming because he, even though he has to help he has to have asked to help of the red dragon to basically to basically to help him out to, in order for him to transform because like during i think it was episode 11 or episode 12 i think it was episode 11 where he asked the red dragon where that he asked him like is there any way you can help me out or something like that where I can rescue rescue my friends and stuff like that? If, to rescue um uh name that Issei. I think it's um what's her name? It's not Rito. It's not Rito. Um I can't remember her name, but it, anyways, it's all for high school DSC. But I, I can't I can't remember her name, but I it's it starts with an R or something like that. I think it is. I think it is, I'm not sure sure. But anyways, but anyways, but anyways, but uh, th that that's basically what he really does needs. He needs he needs that trigger mechanism and stuff like that. That's just kind of like what, based on the anime. Now some people will basically will say this is kind of like a similar kind to like a high school DXD kind of route kind of based on the anime. I kind of say a little bit of it, a little bit of it, but I kind of like this anime because the reason I think I kind of like this anime because I think this anime is not really basically just showing that really major range of fans or that you really actually see from High School DxD or Two Love Rue because which I'm glad that that this episode that this anime is not really in the route of Two Love Rue of which I, which I am happy that it's really is not and that's basically that's basically that's basically it's a good thing that's basically a good thing for for me because I'm glad that the MC is not a dog character he's not immature or anything like that which i'm which i'm happy is that now basically now basically now basically is that we did get to get some focus on basically basically of of the of the, of the girl with the blonde hair she's with the, with the short hair uh she's basically with the short hair and basically what the ability is that basically what she has she, she has some kind of trigger mechanism word that she makes herself very very large it means that she turns into a big old giant person Big old, big old giant person. It's kind of reminds me of the the Marvel Adventures, the Marvel Adventures of, like, where they. I think it's kind of like like Ant Man or something like that. I think so. I'm not sure. Sure, I think I think so, because she kind of likes to have that ability to like Ant Man because Ant Man is basically he can shrink himself into other different, of a different of a different different sizes that what he that he wants because he can shrink his body into down 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 to different levels where he really can one thing i definitely do like about this episode that this that this anime it does have that similar to to like a x-men kind of feel basic kind of basic kind of feel like you basically where you see basically in 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 anime each and every different person has their own different abilities has their own different abilities where you have the main female protagonist where she basically she just has the sword that's basically all she has, and then you also have the girl with the the, the girl with the short hair, the the blonde the blonde hair girl, where she turns into a giant woman. She turns into a giant woman, which I don't know the name, the name of that person, but she does turns into a big old giant woman in in Marvel. I I definitely do think I'm not really so sure, I'm not really so sure. But then you also also have, then you also have like the other the the other girl the. 
the the smogger. I don't know what's what's her abilities. I don't know what she does or stuff like that. I don't know. And then you also have the other girl. She has a Gatling gun. She transforms her hand into a Gatling gun, and she basically just uses that. So that. But you also have to remember, like each and every different person has their own different abilities, and it has their own different all different things. That based on based on what they have, based on what they have, and based on what they really can do. Well, the point I'm basically I'm trying to make here is that is that is that this anime is it doesn't suck it doesn't suck it's really good it's really good it does have a few little flaws based on the episode but i definitely do want to talk about definitely do want to talk about that about the end of the anime not the at the at the end of, uh, after the credits but i'm talking about the end of the anime and i'm kind of wondering like who's this woman really actually is because she says because she says she knows the mc and i'm kind of wondering that basically to me is that could she know could she know the mc that could be a very good possibility, and a very good possibility is this basis that that could be probably her sister. That could be probably his uh, his sister. So I think episode three is going to be very, 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 very important, which I think is really this basis is going to be. And one thing I really am kind of afraid is basis that that this woman is that basically that's basically what she did was the basis that eliminating these these other different soldiers basically there on the battlefield. Is, is something like that she takes their soul away or something like that or takes their abilities away and she actually eats them and then she gains their power now i don't think i don't think she is going to be introduced basically in the next episode but even though she was introduced basically in this episode but i think that she's going to be more introduced in the in the next upcoming following episodes and one thing i'm worried about is that is is that is is that i'm afraid that that the sister is probably going to die I do think I do think so, and that that that's a very likely, very good possibility. But there's just no way in the world that some random girl will just basically just pop pop basically just in an anime and just saying like, oh yeah, I know the MC, I know who's who he actually is. Yes, but I do believe, but I do believe she really wants to find 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 the MC because she wants something from the MC. But the question is, what does she want from the MC? But the question is. Is she related? Is she, is she related to the MC? That's one thing. That's one thing I really am curious about. That's one. That's what got got me curious. But yeah, um, that's it for uh, for for uh, for this episode. Episode two of the Change of Soldier. I definitely like it. I definitely do want to continue watching it. I definitely do. I'm hoping there's not going to be any hiccups down the road. And I definitely, I definitely, uh, hopefully, is it, there really is not. And I definitely am looking forward to watching episode three. But uh, tell me what you guys' thoughts and opinions. Uh, do you guys like this episode? Do you guys don't like it? Do you guys do like it? I happen to do like it. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. But yeah, anyway, since I know it's Amazon, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Please leave your comments down below. I ask you guys, please be respectful down in the comments below. And please leave your, and please um, leave a like on my video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't really matter to me. And yeah, anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. Remember, Jesus, love you. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.